Good morning, fellow human. I just woke up and I have no clue where I am, but now I'm gonna attempt to do a shop review. Let's see if I'm gonna get it out or if I'm gonna have to make 50,000 corrections. Stay for that, because it's gonna get funny, probably. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't, because I don't like coffee. But anyway, let's get into the shop review. If you do want to complete the Dune event and the Spice Silo is what you need there, the Spice Refinery doesn't make too much sense. All you have to do is get the Spice Boosters and because there's two Spice Boosters is one level, so that's 20 levels right there. So this is essentially what you need to complete the event if you care about completing the event and also if you care about Dune as well. And bundles like this, obviously they hold no in-game value because these are only just collectible items for Dune, so don't buy this for the gold. These are just avatars and backgrounds that add no value but they cost money so i don't recommend these for that specific aspect especially something like this where you have a background or an avatar they just subtract from the actual value of the bundle unless you are a dune fan speaking of subtracting value the kpzrh don't do the draw it's a mediocre tank in a draw which is not worth it ever These resources are pretty good because what you have here is you have a premium account, you have gold, and then you also have gold boosters. The gold boosters obviously being in here to make you play more battles. But these are a good way to get a lot of gold and to hold on to it for good offers in the shop. And let's find out if there are any good offers in the shop. Starting off with the Relentless Power, the Chieftain T95 on its own here is priced at 6k, which is 500 higher than it was sold for the last time. And then the Relentless Power is 7,500, which means that you're essentially getting the T28 HTC chucked in there for free, which is kind of what it's worth. Now, even though it is a well-performing tier 7 tank destroyer, it first of all is a tank destroyer, second of all is a tier 7, and second of all, not a lot of people play it and not a lot of people care. So this is very much a specific vehicle that not a lot of players are going to get value out of, so it doesn't really make sense to buy it unless you know you're going to love this tier 7 tank destroyer, so I personally don't recommend something like this whatsoever. But the Chieftain is a solid heavy tank. It's not among the best of tier 8s, but it is the better ones, I'd say. 2.6k DPM, solid penetration, only 225 average damage, so it's more of a medium tank gun than a heavy tank gun. Got 10 degrees of gun depression, has this awful cupola on top of the vehicle. So this is not really a vehicle that plays around the armor. This is more a vehicle that plays around its somewhat above average mobility and its high DPM. But if you are a good player, this can be a good pickup. If you're a beginner, stay away from something like this. That's not what I recommend here. Times fives are locked, but it's a very cheap bundle, 7.5k. So it can be worth it if you're an advanced player that's looking for a challenge to have some fun with. If you're a beginner or if you don't spend a lot of money on Blitz at all, stay away from stuff like this. You're just wasting your money at that point, even though it's cheap. You're way better off with something like a heavy offensive, which is two tier eights in one bundle, 10,000 gold for both. 5k 5k that is a great price in my opinion t77 it was 20k once now it's 5k look at that and that already makes it much more worth it and much better to talk about now 2k dpm two shot auto loader three at alpha damage this is a good vehicle especially if you're a better player if you're a new player auto loaders aren't the ideal tank to get but that is where the kv5 comes in it is a incredibly easy to play vehicle just gonna get you wherever you want to. It's quite heavy, but it is quite fast for its mobility and has a decent enough gun to do a lot of damage and earn creds with. So I can recommend this bundle right here. It's not the perfect primary premium tank bundle, but it is just up there with the best bundles that you can obtain in the game. I can recommend it. And then we go down to the Super Conqueror. This vehicle is, well, kind of super. The only big downside with this vehicle is it's not that great accuracy for what it kind of gun it has, but it does have 10 degrees of gun depression. It does have great armor. You can penetrate the cupola on top of the vehicle, so be careful if you're going hull down. Make sure to hide that to keep the tank wiggling back and forth. Also, this part right here can also be penetrated, so make sure to keep it moving if you're playing it. And if you're playing against it, that's where you have to aim for. Obviously, lower plate is a weak point. The gun is 3000 DPM, 400 alpha damage. 250 penetration so it is a good gun with 10 degrees of gun depression that can be very widely used the mobility is quite below average 
for this kind of vehicle. But overall, it is essentially, if you enjoy something like a T125 and you want the premium version of it, this is kind of the vehicle that gets the closest to the T125's performance, except for, let's say, a Concept 1B that is just a bit better, but this is still a good choice to pick up. Now, remember, don't buy the tier 10s mainly to grind creds. You buy tier 10s mainly to do damage. Now, the good thing here is these times fives in this bundle are unlocked, which makes the bundle worth quite a bit more than already. I mean, it also has these British containers in it, which it, they're gambling. We don't like that here. This is a good bundle. 20k fair price for this vehicle together with the 30 times fives. So I can recommend the Super Conqueror in this configuration. And then we got the Skoda T45. Now, my price for tier 7s is 3k gold. This one is 3k gold. Now, these times 5s are locked, unfortunately. If they were unlocked, I would be like, hey, buy it right now. But they're locked. So I'd say don't buy it. Now, this vehicle was given away for free quite a while ago. So if you still have it for free, obviously don't buy it. But essentially, tier 7s don't add much value in terms of their performance because they don't do as much damage they don't get as much creds as tier 8s or tier 10s that's where you want to grind your creds so most of you guys aren't going to play tier 7s a lot so i don't value them very highly but it is for tier 7 one of the better tier 7s out there now obviously is it worth it for 3k 3k is the price so you have to decide for yourself do you want to waste 3k on a relatively decent tier 7 heavy tank or do you want to just save that gold for a tier 8 get more credits with each, each battle instead now the glory hunters it includes the sphere which is just a leopard with extra tracks and a slightly better gun so not really worth much it's also tier 7 and the g-saur is one of the most overrated vehicles in world tanks blitz of all time together with maybe the Karo 45t and the mx m454 not really worth it in this configuration especially we get the t77 and the kv5 but ugh, this tank, it exists in the game. It's got Hesh, so it makes it more difficult to play, especially for beginner players. So this is not a general recommendation whatsoever. This is sort of on your Lance and C kind of levels. If you're 53% win rate and above and you really want the challenge because you're bored with the good tanks, this is kind of what you get then. But as a general recommendation, I absolutely do not recommend this whatsoever, especially because you also only have to buy it for money. Now, the good thing here is that these times fives are unlocked, which adds a little bit of value to it. So again, if you're a tank collector, it's a fine price, especially also because these are unlocked. But as a general recommendation, I'm not going to recommend something like this, like ever. But I do recommend liking and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. And I also recommend opening these containers because they're free. And why wouldn't you want free stuff? Free stuff is always good. Now, unfortunately, the others aren't free, so don't buy these whatsoever. They're gambling and they should be banned. On top of that, Wargaming has once again surpassed themselves with gambling because now you can buy the AMX 1357 quest. You don't buy the vehicle for 299 gold. You have to win a battle to be able to get this vehicle. That doesn't tell you anywhere. L look at that. Receive three master badges of class two or higher. If you can't do that, well, you have to pay more to get the tank. Yeah, this is another form of gambling and it is getting worse. So congratulations on Wargaming for once again being a terrible company.